be Ruth again. I'm here with a, another video on um, how to how to get a IOTA wallet. Now, if you watched my last video, you know I'm very, very big on technology cryptocurrency. Um, IOTA is another one. I suggest you to read up on it um, and and um, get on board because. Microsoft is now on board with IOTA. So I highly recommend um, to look into it and get on board. However, if you are typing IOTA in YouTube and you're watching this video, I'm guessing you've already read about IOTA. Um, but there's some videos out there showing the how to get an IOTA wallet. However, you're having problems when it comes to seeding and getting to your wallet. Well, I have found the way around that until IOTA comes up with their wallet and um, get everything going. But in the meantime, if you want to get in at the prices right now, um, you want to follow this video. Now, I haven't officially bought IOTA um, in the reasoning or put IOTA in my wallet. And the reasoning for it is because Binance is going crazy and backed up um, with IOTA. So get on board as soon as you can because you can still buy it through um, Binance. And as soon as it clears out, you can just transfer it into your wallet. So let's get started. You can click on the link below. It will bring you to uh, this link, GitHub for IOTA. And you always want to have the most up-to-date wallet however in order to get it officially right now it's kind of a backdoor way to get it is to go all the way to the version of uh, 2.6 something it was I don't know bear with me there you go 2.2.6 so if you are a Mac user, like I am, you want to download this right here, the, the .dmg. Um, if you are a Windows user, obviously you want to use the exe. But most of us are Mac users, because Macs are better laptops, Macs are better computers. We all know that. So um, I'll show you by downloading the Mac version. So what you do is download that wallet, and the DMG will come up. And I'll download that. It takes a few minutes, pretty big file to get that going. And then what I labeled that is um, IOTA Wallet 2 um, or Wallet 2. So I can tell the difference between what the 2.2.6, the older version, and the newer version is. Um, and all only reason we're doing the older version is just to get the seed in order to get into the into the um, new version. For whatever reason, the new version information has to come out about it of why you can't seed and get into it. But for right now, this is how you get in um, on the wallet. So while that's downloaded, you get that, and then obviously you want to get the newest. Uh, version so you can have the most up to date version of the wallet. This is the one that you will be using the most. So you click on that to get that going. So click on that, that'll bring that down, and that's just downloading both um, BNG for the wallet. Now, once that's all set and done, and you get that, what you do is you go into your IOTA folder, which is I created. You know me, I've always created folders for every little thing that I have. And then I go into IOTA Wallet 2. And this will bring up, oops, the other way around, sorry. IOTA Wallet. This is my 2.2.6, as you can see that right there. This is the out of date wallet. You don't want to use this. The only reason you want to do, use this is to get a seed so you can open up your two point um, the newest upgrade of 2.5.4 so with that said what I do next is I click on that and I go up here to tools 
Click on the tool, you hit generate the seed. In generate seed, this will come up. Copy this seed onto your, like a Word document or some type of encrypted document because this is what you'll need to get into your wallet every single time. Um, I already have my copy, so I don't need to copy that. That's just an extra seed. For me. So then when you go into your wallet 2, which is your upgraded 2.5.4, all you have to do is paste that seed into there and log in. So once you log in, this will bring up your wallet. So there you go. I have nothing in the wallet right now. Uh, I'm just starting this. Um, so this is new for me for today. And I'm about to buy in a bunch later on um, as soon as I transfer some money into my account. Um, to receive, this is another important though, to get your money, you hit receive. And then you must attach the tango. So this is your, this is your, um, right here is your, your, um, your IOTA address. So to receive money, then you want to click on that, copy it, and then you must attach the tango. So this basically just attaches it to the tango, allows you to incorporate this address that you're seeing right here into, um, into the, um, not really a blockchain, but to the system, the chain, however you can say it. And that will allow you to um, receive money. But do not do that until you, until you get the, uh, until it's the that thing. Meantime, we'll get out of that while that's attaching. Yeah, that. So the next thing is, how do you buy Iota. Well, that's the crazy thing because it's so new and nobody carries it except for one person. There you go. Add just attached, so that came through. That's good to go. So one person, um, one company has put it incorporated into their exchange system. So obviously you want to go into Coinbase, buy your Bitcoin that comes up um, my next scenario um, and if you guys didn't realize the fees on Bitcoin are already doing these transactions are crazy right now so um, I recommend going from Coinbase and then transferring your money out of Coinbase into GDAX now if you don't know how to get into GDAX basically you sign up for your GDAX account and you'll get to this screen right here. Uh, next thing you'll want to do. Next thing you want to do um, is transfer your Bitcoin. So let's say I go to accounts. I want to hit send. I don't have any money to send. But let's say I have money to send to Bitcoin. Go so back to my GDAX and I want to deposit. So that'll bring up this amount, this thing right here. And then you go from your Coinbase account and then you put the amount that you want in your Coinbase account and deposit funds. So GDAX is a Coinbase company, so that allows you to uh, take your money out of Coinbase, put it to GDAX, which is Coinbase's exchange fund. Once the money is there in GDAX, you then go to withdraw. And then after you go to withdraw, then you want to go to the Bitcoin address. Now, what am I, what am I going to be withdrawing into after I got it from, from Coinbase to GDAX? You want to go from Coinbase to GDAX to Binance. Binance allows you and this thing has almost every coin that you can imagine in it. So Binance is going to allow you to um, deposit money into um, IOTA. So when you sign up for your Binance account, you know, this will be your home screen. 
You can click on the link below to get the Binance account. Once again, you can click below to get your GDAX account. Um, click below to get your Coinbase account. If you're all new to this, I mean, all the links are below to help you out um, to follow this tutorial. So, once you get into your Binance account, you set it all up, everything's good, you got your two factor all set up. Then, what you'll do then is go into the. Um, you want to go to deposits and withdrawals. And then you want to type in Bitcoin. So B T everything's going on right now. B T C. So there's Bitcoin. I do have a little bit of Bitcoin in there. Um, nothing crazy. But for 30 bucks right now. I'm not doing my trading. Um, however, the I want to put deposit and when I do deposit there's my address so I take that address copy it and I put that into the GDAX address and then I type in the amount of Bitcoin that I want in and I've got my two-factor code set up so you want to do that and get your two-factor code and then you want to uh, withdraw funds so after a few minutes It'll go out of GDAX and then it'll come into Binance. Once you go into Binance, then you can buy IOTA. So now the money, say the money comes in, boom, you have $33.57. So you go into Binance, you get to Exchange Basic. Let that come up. And then you want to make sure this is clicked on Bitcoin because this is what you have is Bitcoin. But I want to go from Bitcoin and I want to exchange the Bitcoin into IOTA, which is I-O-T-A, Bitcoin. And I click on that. That brings up your, your um, graph for IOTA. I want to hit on the market. If you want to day trade, obviously you can go to the limit and you know work that way. Go on the market. And then you do how many IOs you want. 25% of your Bitcoin, you do 50% of your Bitcoin, 75% of Bitcoin, 100% of your Bitcoin. So let's just say 106. Let's see if it will allow me to change my Bitcoin to IOTA. By IOTA. Succeeded. So then when I scroll back over to my deposits and my withdrawals. Bam. I now have IOTA. So I've got Ripple, some in Ripple, I've got some in IOTA, I've got some in Bitcoin. So what do I do from here? Well, you notice how all these are withdrawals. When I click on suspend in this little part, network congestion withdrawal suspended. So much is going on right now with IOTA, but I I've bought into IOTA. So as you can see, I've bought into IOTA, but I just can't get it over to my IOTA wallet. So what will happen is, I'll show you what it looks like when I look on it, like for example, I do Ripple, because it would be the same thing. So let's say I want to withdraw IOTA, but we're going to do with withdraw Ripple. I'll put that IOTA address in there. There's that address. I will put that in there. Um, and then once, uh, once I do the IOTA, um, I'll put the amount, if there's any tags in there, obviously you're going to put the tag in there, put the amount, and then submit. And then the money will be in your light wallet, your light IOTA wallet. So it's just a little quick tutorial on how to get IOTA. Um, once again, um, if you would like to send some money to me in IOTA, obviously, you look below. I have my IOTA address there. Um, you got GDAX. You know, if you haven't signed up for GDAX, you got my address, um, information is below. Coinbase, information is below. And the information to get to the IOTA, IOTA wallet is there also. So there it is. If you have any questions, as you can see in my previous videos, uh, whenever I get a chance, I respond right away. So um, feel free to ask any questions that you have. Um, this is our little forum, you know, if someone else has a question, be, be glad, you know, answer it. Help us out. 
we're all in it for the same thing. Um, once again, I think Iota is going to be big. I think um, if you watch my previous video, Ripple is going to be big. I'm a bi I'm big on technology, uh, cryptocurrency. So anything that has to do with technology, can you'll grab my attention with that because I think everything's going towards technology. Everything's going wireless. Uh, I live in Texas, and right now here in Dallas, they're they're um, trying out um, driverless cars. So you got cars driving around with nobody in them. So technology is coming. Robots coming, the whole Terminator, Back to the Future, all that stuff. They're predicting it to the T, and it's coming here. Um, obviously, who would have thought five years ago that cryptocurrency would be doing what it's doing right now? So um, jump on board, um, invest in IOTA, invest in Ripple. Um, please donate. Like I said, $5, $10, $20. You can pay me in Ripple. You can pay me in IOTA. You can pay me in... Bitcoin, uh, you can pay via PayPal address. Um, I do accept donations, it's greatly appreciated. Um, all I do is just turn that into coins, I put it right back into the market. So um, I'm not wasting it by any means. Uh, so donations are appreciated. And if you want some music, as usual, um, you can go up to my link, imbroots.com, and you can listen to the music that I create on my all time. Um, all I do is work, create music, and buy the currency. What a life. <laughs> um, I think that is it. I'm going to sign off. Oh, yeah. I do have a funny video that I'm going to post tomorrow. So make sure you subscribe, like, comment. Um, definitely subscribe for my new videos because um, it's not all just about cryptocurrency. Every now I'll throw a video that will you know, make you laugh and, and giggle. Um, because I'm just a regular person, just like you. So, once again, check it out. All my music is on SoundCloud. It's on Beatport. Um, free downloads also. I don't make you buy much of stuff if you don't want to. Um, and right now, I can play my latest track, Voodoo, um, for you. I haven't checked my SoundCloud page in a while. You know what? I played Voodoo last time. Check out my latest track, uh, Remix. You want to see EDM music? You know who Harder on that is, that is. Hands up. Thank you once again. Subscribe, like, comment. And if you got it, 